seventh season of Outlander is coming, but unlike our beloved Claire, it won't be as simple to go back in time to see how the new episodes pan out. The sixth season of Outlander premiered on Stars, Stars Play in March 2022, carrying on the family's exploits as they try to live a peaceful, comfortable life in 18th century North Carolina. Unfortunately, they never experience true calm in their lives. The Revolutionary War is also raging, which isn't helpful. With the rest of the family dispersed over the country by the conclusion of season 6, including Jamie, young Ian, Bree, Roger, Fergus, and Marsali, Claire found herself in grave peril. So what can we expect from Season 7 of Outlander? Here is all the information you require. Outlander Season 7 Potential Release Date When Is It Out? Fans will presumably not have to wait as long for Season 7 as there was a significant 21-month droughtlander between Seasons 5 and 6. Sam Hugan, Catriona Balfe, Sophie Skelton, and Richard Rankin appeared in a picture posted on the official Outlander social media pages in April 2022, back on the Scotland set where filming had begun. In fact, the executive producer of Outlander, Meryl Davis, stated in an exclusive interview with Digital Spy that Season 7's filming had begun in May 2022. Davis mentioned that they were on a fairly typical pace and that it was going to be a supersized season, but she remained mum about when it could be on our screens. We already knew that Season 7 of Outlander would have 16 episodes, double the number of episodes in Season 6. Valve also disclosed that they would be filming the following season for 13 months, which would take us up to at least May 2023, in an interview with Digital Spy for Season 6. We anticipate seeing episodes soon after that. So, regrettably, the earliest we can expect is probably the end of 2023. Of course, whenever we learn more, you'll also learn more. Outlander Season 7 cast who will be in it. The events described in the 6th and 7th installments of the Outlander series by author Diana Gabaldon, A Breath of Snow and Ashes and An Echo in the Bone, will be the subject of Season 7. The actors listed will return because those books involve all the main characters. Sam Hugan, Catriona Balf, Richard Rankin, Sophie Skelton. We anticipate the comeback of popular favorites like John Bell, Lauren Lyle, Cesar Domboy, Caitlin Orion, David Berry. Some of the more recent cast members may return to complete their character stories as the new season must settle the cliffhangers from the conclusion of season 6, including Alexander Vlahos, Mark Lewis Jones, Brennan Martin, Chris Larkin, Paul Gorman. We now know that a character from season 3 will return for the following season, albeit with a new actor playing the part. Laura Donnelly, who had previously played Jenny Murray, will no longer be appearing in the show. Kristen Atherton, who has appeared in Doctors and Waterloo Road, will take her place. Conflicts with his schedule are being given as the explanation for Donnelly's absence. She also made an appearance in Marvel's Halloween special Werewolf by Night, and she might have more roles in future MCU films in addition to The Nevers. Jaylee's Duncan, Brian Fraser, Dougal McKenzie, Ian Murray, Joan McKimmy, and Leia Care Fraser are more past characters who have been confirmed for the upcoming season. Some of these characters have likely already died on the program, as you may have seen. One of the many pleasures of our epic story is the element of time travel, which allows us to revisit some of our favorite characters in different times and places, and we're thrilled to welcome back so many familiar faces for season 7, according to showrunner Matthew B. Roberts, who teased how this might happen. But there are also a lot of fresh faces, such as Loria Obienio as Mercy Woodcock in Dune, Rod Hallett as Benedict Arnold in The Last Kingdom, and Chris Fulton as Rob Cameron in Bridgerton. A number of new performers have joined the Outlander family, and in addition to our returning cast, we're thrilled to welcome them, added Roberts. We can't wait to introduce them to fans in our extended season. In an exclusive interview with Digital Spy in July 2022, Alex Vlahos hinted at his comeback to the show and what that might entail. It can't possibly be over for Tom and Alan, he said. So I will say, you know, on that Alan's journey, there's so much more that we shot that didn't even make it into the episode, which is unfortunate. The Christies still have a ways to go. He is a puppeteer. When people first meet him, he can appear simple or dull, but I believe he is nasty. He is a puppeteer. One of the most eagerly anticipated characters from the franchise finally had a face when a brand new cast member was revealed in May 2022. The Craft, Legacy and Lost in Space actor Charles Vandervart will appear in Outlander as William Ransom, Jamie Fraser's hidden son. In the novel, Lord John Gray, the ninth Earl of Ellesmere, who is portrayed on television by David Barry, raised William, the ninth Earl of Ellesmere, and kept him from learning the truth about his biological father. In the new batch of episodes, the Hunter siblings from the books will also be introduced. Izzy Makel Small from Never Let Me Go will play Rachel Hunter, and Joey Phillips from Casualty will play her brother, Dr. Denzel Hunter. When young Ian arrives at their farm carrying a sick and injured William Ransom, the lives of the siblings are forever altered. While Rachel is modest but demonstrates a fiery energy that young Ian and William admire, Denzel has a medical background and plans to join the Revolutionary Army as a surgeon. 
Additionally, fans will be eager to see Graham McTavish once more in Outlander. The actor, who co-stars with his friend Sam Hugan in the television series Men in Kilts About a Road Journey, played Jamie's uncle, Dougal McKenzie, in the first two seasons of Outlander. He later made a comeback in season 5 to play Dougal's relative Buck and hinted to Digital Spy that he would be open to returning to the show in the future. Buck, I'm not sure, he joked. Well, I know he's in the novels, I believe he appears in books 7 and 8, but I'm not sure. I'll tell you one thing about this industry, though, the performers are usually the last to find out. Outlander Season 7 Plot What Will Happen Big cliffhangers from Season 6's finale will undoubtedly be resolved in Season 7. If proven guilty of the murder of Tom Christie's daughter Malva, Claire, who is now detained in Wilmington, might face the death penalty. Meanwhile, Jamie has just escaped Richard Brown's Committee of Safety's grasp and is on his way to rescue her together with young Ian and John Quincy Myers, likely plotting yet another prison break. They both have experience in these situations. The seventh season must also establish who actually killed Malva and what the Fraser family's ramifications of the time traveler Wendigo Donner's arrival are. The Fraser family will face a great deal more peril in the future. Season 7 will depict the Revolutionary War coming ever closer to Fraser's Ridge than it did in Season 6, which ended with a hint at the nation's escalating turmoil. As Claire arrived in Wilmington, an echo in the bone, Diana Gabaldon's seventh book, is set between 1776 and 1778. The Declaration of Independence was ratified on July 4, 1776, and the war itself lasted until 1783. Fans of the books will be aware that the Fraser family is dragged into the conflict and that Jamie will end himself fighting against his buddy Lord John and William, who is actually Jamie's biological son. There will also be a new family member, as Brianna revealed she was expecting her second child in season 6. This could force Brianna and Roger to make important decisions about where to start a family. Outlander season 7 episodes, how many will there be? Outlander season 6 was shortened from 12 to 8 episodes because of pandemic production concerns, making it the show's shortest season to yet. The bad news is that. The good news is that those four episodes have been carried over to season 7, which will include a whopping 16 episodes, as was already revealed. In an exclusive interview with Digital Spy, Catriona Balf said, What we did was we took the four episodes that we would have recorded and we are now having them at the beginning of season 7. So season 7 is going to be a 16-episode season. I believe that by doing it that way, we can continue to do Outlander in the same manner we always have, by taking our time and letting the story develop. Outlander season 7 trailer When Can I See It? Unfortunately, there is currently no indication of any new Season 7 footage. When stars and stars play want to announce a broadcast date for the upcoming series, Outlander trailers are typically published. We wouldn't anticipate seeing a trailer until at least the end of 2022 as it isn't likely to happen until the beginning of next year at the earliest. No time to wait that long. Your displays will at least still feature some of your favorites. It's all coming back to me. A romantic comedy starring Sam Hugan will hit theaters in February 2023 additionally. A second season of his New Zealand-based Men in Kilt series starring Graham McTavish is in the works. In the 2022 television drama sass, Rogue Heroes, which stars Dominic West and Connor Swindells from Sex Education, Cesar Domboy will also appear. Later this year, Lauren Lyle will play the lead role in the Scottish police drama Karen Peary on ITV. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.